Hi, this is Kan Nishida from BI Publisher channel. So let's take a look how to create your first BI Publisher report. In BI Publisher, reporting lifecycle goes like this. So start with data model, and then create a report on top of the data model, and then you build a report. It's that simple. So let's take a look a little more inside of each component. So in the data model, that's where you define what the data source will be. So the data source can be the files or database or some other stuff. But the data source, for example, is database. And then this is where you define and register your SQL queries. Or you can also define your joins and the custom uh, functions, the measures, and aggregation type of things. And then once you create the data model, now you can create the report uh, to visualize the data. So you can have the charts and tables and cross tabs. Or you can apply the format and design layout type of things. And once you create the report, now you're ready to build the report by interacting with the data, or you generate the reports in the other formats that the BI Publisher supports, such as PDF or Excel or PowerPoint or RTF, to achieve your pixel perfect report output requirements. So now let's take a look how to create the, your first BI Publisher report. So this is the BI Publisher homepage that you will see like, right after you log in. So now, like here, like um, there's a report, report job, data model under the create. So you can use this menu to create a data model, right? So before you, I create a data model. Like one thing I want to make sure is that I do have a data connection to access to that data. So like here, there's a database connection under the data source. Uh, when I go to the admin UI, and then go click that, and then like this is a list of the data. Uh, database connection that I can use. So in this example, I'm going to create just a um, data connection. And so like I'm going to type that like uh, all the entry. And then here, like I need to type the data uh, based connection information. So I'm going to type something like that. So like host name, the port number, and the database uh, SID. And here, use a name and a password. And I want to make sure the connection working OK. And I got the message, establish successfully. So I'm going to click Apply. So now that's it. Like I just created a database connection. So now go back to the home window. And then like now I'm going to create a, a data, start creating data model. So first thing I want to do is make sure like I'm going to use that, the data connection that I just created, so which is order entry. And then like I go to the data sets. And then like there's a menu, product menu, like there's a SQL query. So I'm going to use that SQL query. And as you see, like the order entry the data connection is already selected. So if I click the query builder, now query builder is going to um, find all the tables under this schema called OE, right? So in this case, I have uh, these tables, and I like to see the orders by uh, the product and what all uh, by order made by the customers. So in this case, first I want to put, down, uh, put up these uh, order tables, and I'm going to select that data that I like to see. So like order date, order mode, order status, order total, and so on. And then there's another table called order items. And then like in this case, like I like the, I'm interested in unit price or quantity. And I can uh, join these two tables by just um, drag and drop and by using all the ID. And also, like I like to see a product data. Uh, so like I'm going to just put this another table called products. And then like this table, uh, I can just use the product ID to join those two tables together. Now I have three tables uh, joined together. And also, I'm interested in product name and product description. And other information, for example, like warranty and the class and then the product status type of things. So I can just create, uh, click and choose. And if I click the results, and the default is the 10 rows, and I can select that and different row sets. And it looks like that is OK. So now like I'm going to uh, just click the Save. And then that automatically, that my SQL query is being developed. And I didn't type anything, but just everything's just automatic here. And then um, I'm going to name that. Um, order status as uh, my dataset's name. Click OK. And then these are the columns that automatically are uh, populated. Looks OK. If I want to, uh, like I can just change the uh, column names. But in this example, I'm going to just go with this. And then I click the Save button to save it. So here, and I'm going to just type the uh, order status data model. And I click the button Save. And it's already saved. And I'm going to click this XML icon. This will uh, give me the XML data that are internally handled by the BI publisher. So in this way, I can make sure the data is handled correctly and coming back. This is the real data coming out from the database. 
And then before I start creating a report, one thing I want to make, I, I need to make sure is to save this as a sample data. And that will uh, save that data as a sample. So like uh, when I'm designing the layout, I don't have to access the database every single time uh, when I make the change. Also, I can create uh, parameters for this data model, uh, or like I create a list of values and use that for the parameters. Or like I can use a date, uh, starting date, and end date, and that, that kind of stuff. In this example, I'm going to go with this, and then now uh, ready to the next step, which is to create a report. So if I go here, there's a menu, uh, report under new. So this uh, gives me this window where I need to select the uh, data model I just created. So in this case, all the status data model, I select that and I click open. And now I get this UI. Uh, either like I can start using this uh, shared templates uh, that will help me get started uh, by using the predefined uh, uh, template, or I can start with blank. In this example, I'm going to use this um, a blank template. And then these are the components I can use to uh, visualize the data or design my layout. Right. So the first thing I want to do is here, like I drop the layout group and a two by two. Uh, with that means, I can drop this, for example, the chart, or for example, the table, um, in this type of the, uh, this position. So here, let's um, start with the chart. So now, like I like to see uh, the product name. Um, but I want to understand like, uh, the order total, uh, like how uh, much product has been sold. So in this case, uh, the x-axis has the product, and then the y-axis has the, the total um, dollars. So now, like, uh, uh, if I like it's 3D effect, and I'm not like 3D effect, or like I can just um, uh, choose a different chart type. For example, like instead of a vertical, like maybe I can choose the horizontal uh, bar chart. And also, like I can use a filter to um, filter the data. In this case, uh, probably like in this plane, all the products uh, would be too much. So I'm going to select that to maybe uh, top ten products. So I click OK. So now, like I have only ten products, but it's top ten. And then also, like I can just drop that uh, uh, columns into this um, uh, data uh, table. So, for example, like I like to see the product name and the product description. And then now I realize that like I don't have much space anymore. So but in this case, what I can do here is I'm going to select that uh, cell. And then I select the two cells. And I, I can join those two cells to make the space much bigger. Now like I have much more space. So like I want to uh, add more data here. So for example, like order total. And I realize that like I actually have I like to have the order date uh, before the um, order total, so in this case here, and then maybe like I like to see like order uh, mode, uh, for example here, something like this, and then now uh, these are the tables, and then like I have another space, maybe like I can just drop another chart here, and in this case now like I like to see that uh, the product name, but um, for example here. Or, um, for example, I can, what I can do is, uh, the, uh, let's say, like, uh, order mode, I like to see um, how the product has been sold. So, for example, here, and then, like, if I drop the order total, so now, not only the, the product name, I'm comparing the product name uh, based on the order total, but also I can see, like, direct online. But this is a little hard to see, so, like, I'm going to change that like, chart type to be something more... Um, the stack bar. Uh, in this case, I don't have to get so much confused. And the 3D is uh, not really good for this type, so I can uh, take with the 3D, uh, 3D charts. And again, like I, this might be the too many products, so like I'm gonna just go here and then just change that to uh, top 10 product here, and click OK. So now like I have the 10 product, uh, top 10 products. So now like I realize that this date uh, is kind of too much, so like I like to set the date format to make it much more visual. Uh, easy and also here I know that this is a number data so like I like to do the formatting so like in this case for example like I select this one to uh, make a number formatting um, with the decimal a thousand separator and also at the bottom like I have the summary table um, um, total row and then the summation which is the default but I think this case is perfect so what I only only thing I want to do is just set that uh, number format 
and it looks good. And then for also, like I can just change the column title. So in this case, instead of this order total, this is just you know obvious. So like I'm gonna just change that to total, or like I can um, select all the column header and to make it, for example, bold. So it's like the same thing like you do with your uh, familiar desktop tool. That is, um, you can change the column header, you can type, the cha uh, change the column uh, header name, uh, you can change the width of the each uh, column. Uh, you can do just uh, by using your mouse. So now it looks good. So like I like to see uh, how that report is looking. So before I uh, preview the report, I need to actually save it. So like I could click here and then just type the layout name save now I can preview the report so this is how that data is going to be displayed in my report and it looks okay so now only thing I want to do is I like to add the uh, report title so like I just uh, insert another row and here I'm gonna just drop the text item here and then double click to enter uh, the report title here so in this case this is uh, all the status report um, also here I can do the formatting so I can just make it bold and maybe the font size bigger so in this case maybe like 15 fonts and then maybe like I can change that like, um, font color to be something like red or different color in this case uh, but it's here so now like I have this report so now like I save it and I click the return and that will really give uh, brings me uh, that will bring uh, me to this report UI where I can manage if I have like multiple layouts. In this case, I have only one, but I can create multiple layouts and I can manage those and then each properties and then, like um, things. And then now like I'm okay on this, so like I'm gonna just click the view report and then that will ask me to save this report. Uh, so like I'm gonna save that to uh, order status report and looks good and I click save and then click the view report so now like I have this report uh, I have two charts and a one table it's a very simple report and it has the report title as well so now I can um, all the data presented in this presented in this report are actually connected and linked together so um, without you predefined any like scripting or coding or anything like everything is related what that means for example if I click this particular uh, bar which is a kb101 slash yes that's the product name and then now this table shows only the data to do with this product name and the same as well in this chart. So uh, every single uh, data points in the chart and are presenting, um, I can click and then the, to do the filtering and that has influence and impact on the diff uh, different components. So for example, in this case, um, in this chart, uh, there's the online and direct data. So like if I'm interested in online data, so now this chart represents only the online product, uh, the product sales um, made, in, uh, made with online. And also here, I see only the online data. Okay, so now in this table, like I have the f uh, five columns and the product name, for example, like if I want to select a particular product, so for example, in this case, the GB1 not, uh, 24 uh, so like when um, and select all and I select a particular product and then now like I get to see it only that particular product data or like I can just go back and select all and then like, I get that all the data back or like I can do the sorting so for example like I like to see uh, that data uh, sorted by the total and now like it's all the data has been sorted um, also like I can so each column automatically has the filtering and sorting um, so it's easy to uh, browser data and then like a filter the data uh, to find your answer that you're looking for. Okay, so this is pretty much the um, basic steps to create your first report with BI Publisher. Thank you for watching. This is Kanishida from BI Publisher channel.